Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, I'm Catherine Chess. I'm your nutritionist and joyful living coach. And today we're making a yummy, delicious, gluten, sugar, free pumpkin pie. Ooh. And this is a little different. It's creamier and more savory than most pumpkin pies. So I think you're gonna really like it. I'm gonna make the crust. The crust is a gluten-free crust, pretty much kind of a traditional gluten-free, but it has nuts in it, so it's a little crunchier. We're gonna make it in the food processor, and this is the flour, but the recipe called for any gluten-free flour, and that's fine, but sometimes they have fillers and preservatives. So I used an almond flour and a cassava flour, just a nice combination, and you get the same result, but it's a little bit better for you. Almond has a lot of uh, nutrients, and cassava is a root, so it's very stabilizing. And you can get it at most stores now, which is really nice. And then I'm gonna put some almonds in, just whole almonds. I toasted these in the oven, so they have a really nice flavor. I'm gonna put a little maple syrup, and normally I don't eat dairy, but I really like butter. So I wanna put some butter in, but if you don't eat butter or if you're dairy-free, um, you could do coconut oil, or if you just don't want all the casein from the butter, use some ghee. It, you get the same results. I just really like butter today. So I'm gonna throw in six tablespoons of butter, and then we're just going to put some salt in, and then I'll blend. Now, if you don't have a food processor, get one. This is so important when you're making these. It makes your life faster, easier, and a little bit cleaner. So try it on. Let's go. We've got our crust. So I'm just gonna open this up, and as you can see, I have greased with two tablespoons of coconut oil this springform pan. So this is a springform pan, but just so it easy cleanup. I can get it off the sides really easily. I lined it with parchment paper. This is really easy. You just trace the bottom with parchment paper. You cut out a, um, a lining for it, and then I just put it up the sides. So I'm going to pour this in. I'm going to make it very flat, and then we're going to come back, and I'll give you all the filling ingredients. So I'm going to pour all this into the pan. Check this out. See how nicely and easily this goes into your pan? And then I'm just gonna spread it out with my fingers and make it flat. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about self-care. Self-care is so important. Now, if you don't take care of yourself, you aren't available for everybody else. You might think you are, but you're really gonna burn out. So I recommend that you schedule time to take your self-care. Put it on your calendar and really make it non-negotiable. And then when you ha are having your self-care, whatever you're doing, turn off those thoughts. Stop thinking about what you need to do for other people or your continual to-do list. Start thinking about, ah, this is so wonderful. This is so pleasurable. Start talking to yourself. Tell yourself, I so deserve this, and I'm so lucky for getting to do this. What that does is it sends a signal to the universe, the energetic universe, that to give you more time for you. It's really amazing. But the more you take care of yourself, the better you're gonna go in life. Look at the tortoise and the hare. He slowed down the, the hare, or excuse me, the tortoise, and he really took his time. When we do that, life just goes easier. We're not made to multitask. So enjoy that, and we're gonna come back and make the filling. See you in a minute. Now I'm so excited. We're making the pumpkin pie filling. So here we go. We have one and a half cups of pumpkin filling. Now I buy a canned because it's just easier. I don't make my own pumpkin, duh. And, um, you know, there's a lot of controversy about that, but I think this is a lot easier. The only thing I say is make sure it's organic. You really want to use 
organic fruits, organic vegetables. And I'll tell you why. Because the pesticides that go on plants, you know, the FDA says they are grass, generally regarded as safe. But seriously, Pesticides are endocrine disruptors. What's your endocrine system? It's all of your parts, you know, your liver, your organs, your sexual organs, everything. And they disrupt your endocrine system. It's been proven. So it's better to go organic every time you can. And if you really want to make your own pumpkin pie puree, go for it. Oh, and one other thing, when you do buy canned you want to make sure it's BPA free, bisphenol A free, because bisphenol A, it has been known to be carcinogenic, which means it causes cancer. What is bisphenol A? Uh, manufacturers use it to line the cans, so they hold things in a little bit easier, but it's been proven, especially with little babies, that it is carcinogenic. So avoid anything that has BPA in it. Make sure the can says BPA free. So we're gonna put some maple syrup in it. I have three fourths of a cup. Maple syrup, of course, is better for you because it is lower on the glycemic index and it digests differently. It's pure, it's from a tree, for goodness sake. And then we're gonna put the seasoning in. This is amazing. This is cinnamon, ginger, and a little bit of cloves. So I'm throwing that in. And then coconut cream, yum. This is just gonna make it creamy and delicious. And then three eggs, so it'll rise, and it'll be beautiful. And we're gonna mix it up. Wowza, okay. We've got our pumpkin pie filling. Mmm, it smells so wonderful, so delicious. Just gonna pull the top of this off, pour it into our mold that we already made, the crust. Now I only put the crust on the bottom. It's just easier that way. And you still get the yummy, delicious flavors. You can buy a pre-made gluten-free pie crust for this. So if you prefer to do that, go for it. I'm gonna put some pretty things on top, some coconut, but right now I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 350 degrees and cook it for about 35 minutes. Okay, the pumpkin pie, it's ready to be served. Check this out. I'm just gonna hold it up for you so you can just see how beautiful and delicious, how delicious it is. And then I made the whipped cream. Oh, this is coconut whipped cream, and you'll find the recipe for it in the book. So it's in there. I'm going to put this on and slice it up. And it is so mouthwatering. But I wanted to address just a little bit about how we can eat things and savor them and really chew them and enjoy the flavors. So often we just woof desserts down. No, no, no. They're meant to be savored and enjoy. So when you have this, you make it up, take one bite and chew it. I mean, chew it, chew it, chew it. Taste the flavors. Chew it until it's liquefied and enjoy the flavor and let it go down your throat, slither down your throat and know that you're nourishing your body with something really healthy. Healthy and happy instead of something crappy this is made with the maple syrup, so it's so much better for you than processed sugars. Enjoy it, and let me know how you enjoy it. And if you like this video, hey, share it. Share it with your friends. Share it far and wide, because I want to help so many people just like you to get healthy and happy. I'm Katherine Chess. I'm your nutritionist and joyful living coach. I help you to rebalance your hormones, renew your energy, and love, 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 love your life. So enjoy and enjoy your cake. See you soon.